So now let's go ahead and apply the addition rule specifically for mutually exclusive events. So we're picking a single item looking for more than one attribute, but the attributes do not happen at the same time. If the case is that they're mutually exclusive, you can use the classical method. And remember, for finding probability, that would be where you find all of the ways the thing you're looking for can happen, and then divide by the total possible outcomes, whether your chosen attributes occur or not. So in problem two, we're asked to find the probability that a day of the week begins with an F or an S. So we just want to pick one day of the week, and it said a single day of the week, and we're looking for an F or an S. So we find all the ways that that can happen, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mutually exclusive items, because you can't begin with a different letter and be the same word. Um, three ways this happened, and there are seven days in a week. Now keep in mind, the question asked for selecting a day of the week, not a weekday, which is Monday through Friday. Really hard to distinguish the difference, but there is one, and I'm not trying to mess with you. Okay, so to find my probability, I set up my fraction, 3 over 7, the ways it can happen, divided by everything that could have happened. Divide to get my decimal value and answer as a rounded percent with one place after the decimal. So now let's go ahead and take that concept of the addition rule with mutually exclusive events and add it to a visual example. Now, when I start off the first example, it doesn't fit the um, or criteria where we use the addition rule, but I just wanna make sure you see how to do a problem like this. So in problem 3A1, <laughs> I'm asked to find P of A, which just means the probability of A, and according to the legend, a just means I'm working with a star. So I'm looking for the probability of selecting a star from the shapes above. And hopefully you already saw that two of the six shapes are stars. So I have a 0.3333 or specifically a 33.3% .3 chance of randomly picking one shape and it's a star. So now let's go to problem two. We're asked for the probability of A or B. The minute I see or, I know it's an addition rule problem, but I have to decide if these are mutually exclusive. I'm looking for the probability of a star or a square. These are mutually exclusive events since they cannot happen at the same time, so I just need to find all of the ways that these can happen. Two ways to get a star, three ways to get a square. So five of the six shapes satisfy what I'm looking for, change to a decimal number, and write as a percent with one place to the right of the decimal. So there's an 83.3% chance of randomly picking a shape if those were all in a bucket, your eyes were closed and you reached in and it would be a star or a square that you pull out, assuming they're on cards. Obviously you can't feel the shape. So let me have you do problem three and work that out and let's see if you get it right. Okay, so did you get 66.7%? Hopefully you did. You were looking for the probability of a square or an oval. Even though a square was asked above, obviously we can ask that above. You found three squares, one oval, four of the six shapes to give you 66.7%.